Last year, I heard a talk by Magnus McFarlane Barrow. He spoke about the moment his life changed in 2002 when he was visiting Malawi. He met a mother who was dying of AIDS. Her six children were gathered around her and Magnus asked the eldest son, Edward, what he hoped for in life. He said, to have enough to eat and to go to school one day. Magnus said to himself, we've got to do something to help, however small. His first tiny project gave food to 200 children in southern Malawi. Since then, Mary's Meals has grown into an international charity delivering school meals to children in many countries each day. Magnus felt called to do something. He didn't have huge plans or special gifts, but he listened to his heart and was brave enough to take the first step. The word vocation simply means a calling. There is a pull or sometimes a sense of being pushed. Something in you knows that this is the right way forward. It might be your heart or your conscience or a sense of duty or even of destiny. For a Christian, the fundamental vocation is the adventure of following Jesus Christ in faith. It's a call to grow in love and holiness. Our ultimate vocation is to share God's life in the glory of heaven, to see him face to face. This is what we were made for. But God calls many people to a special commitment to a particular way of life. It could be marriage or ordination as a deacon, priest or bishop, or religious life in a monastery or convent or another form of consecration, or a commitment to the single life. It's not always tidy. I'm here in Chelsea on the site where the home of St. Thomas More used to stand. At first, he thought about joining a Carthusian monastery. Then he became a lawyer and a politician and was eventually appointed Lord Chancellor of England. He married and had four children. His wife died when the children were still young and he married again soon after. And just when everything was looking very settled, he was imprisoned and executed for his religious beliefs. His vocation, as you can see, took many twists and turns. But how do we know what to do? What are the signs? Well, the normal way that God speaks to us is through the deepest desires of our hearts. The simplest sign of a vocation is attraction. It's a bit like falling in love. You feel an attraction, a pull to marriage or to priesthood or whatever. The idea keeps coming back to mind. It seems to fit. It brings you joy. A friend of mine called Sally joined a community when she was a young woman. She said, I realized that when I was with them, I was at home. I felt a deep peace. I was completely free. I was, she said, the best of myself. God can speak to us in different ways. When we pray, when we read the Bible, when we talk to people, when something unexpected happens. Sometimes we get a feeling that he is saying something to us. It seems like a sign. But sometimes it's not like falling in love. It can be a deep, dark knowledge that we need to do something, a sense of obligation that we didn't choose or that we can't explain. God can take us by surprise. He did this when he appeared to St. Paul on the road to Damascus in a blinding flash of light. Above all, we need to pray for guidance and for a generous heart, and then to be open to God's will. If you are single, it doesn't mean your life is on hold until you discover a lifelong vocation. 
Your life has immense value right now. You are called to holiness right now. You can trust that in this moment, this is where you are meant to be and that God has great plans for your future. He has not forgotten you. John Henry Newman wrote these words to himself when he needed reassurance. He said, God knows me and calls me by my name. God has created me to do him some definite service. He has committed some work to me which he has not committed to another. I have my mission. I may never know it in this life, but I shall be told it in the next. I am a link in a chain, a bond of connection between persons. He has not created me for naught. I shall do good, I shall do his work. These beautiful words are true for each one of us. I had a, a time where I didn't know what I was going to do with my life and I prayed, asked St. Joseph to help me and I thought that I would get an answer in some way. I received a letter from St. Joseph's Parish inviting me to be a youth worker so I felt absolutely called to do that even though I didn't want to. I definitely say I felt inspired at times to do things. It's not a physical sense of being called um, like a loud voice. Um, but just a nudge in the right direction that in hindsight you think, yeah, God was behind that. Uh, I don't think I have. Uh, there's a lot of things I have done and I do, um, which I do just because of who I am and not because I feel that I'm being called to do them. I felt inspired to support um, um, mothers in their vocation and in the constant research for um, fullness in their vocation and therefore in God. Absolutely, yes. So I'm at this point where I've just kind of changed careers from working in the private sector and now working for charities. And I think that's really come from a realization that I have like this knowledge and that I can do something with it for a greater good. Yes, actually I have. Um, I felt called to study medicine um, and I, I have done it. Um, very challenging, um, but it's where I'm supposed to be. The student centre where I work has a huge boat party at the end of every academic year when exams are finished. Four hours sailing up and down the River Thames with a DJ whose vinyl collection is stuck in the mid 80s. Every year, without fail, there is some kind of romance brewing. And the lovely thing for me as a priest is to stand in the church three or four years later as a couple make their wedding vows and remember the first moment they met. One of the reasons that marriage is sometimes hard to discuss is that everyone assumes they know what they are talking about. We might say, great, they've got married, they love each other, they've taken their vows, they've tied the knot. But hang on, lots of people love each other without getting married. People make different kinds of commitments to each other without getting married. What then is the actual meaning of marriage? We can't just assume we all mean the same thing. Let me give you the Christian understanding of marriage. I don't mean the meaning of marriage just for Christians, but marriage as Christians understand it. Here we go in one sentence. Marriage is a public commitment where a man and woman promise to love each other faithfully for the rest of their lives and to be open to the gift of children that may come from their sexual union. So there is a profound union of love and friendship 
And there is also an openness to new life, a generosity that takes the husband and wife outside themselves. When I help couples to prepare for marriage, I speak about the four Fs. Marriage is free, faithful, fruitful, and for life. Marriage is free. You can't force someone to get married against their will. There has to be a choice. They have to say yes. Marriage is faithful. You give your life to this person and not to someone else. That's why, obviously, adultery is wrong. But faithfulness is also about much simpler things, being honest and affectionate, trustworthy and kind, even when things are difficult. Marriage is fruitful. It's open to the gift of children and building a family. Now, a couple can never be sure they will conceive a child, but they can be generous and open to new life in their sexual intimacy. They may try to plan their family using natural fertility awareness, but they will avoid anything that works against their fertility or against their openness to each other, which is what contraception does. And marriage is for life. There is a bond of marriage. The marriage vows bring about something new. A spiritual bond is established, even if someone has no faith, because God blesses the promises that every married couple makes. That bond can normally only be broken by death. This is why marriage is such a big step. It's far more than just a legal document or a temporary commitment. You can see why, in this Christian view, marriage is always between a man and a woman. This is not because of any prejudice or discrimination. In the Christian understanding, there is something distinctive and unique about the relationship between a man and a woman, between male and female. Because this male-female complementarity is what allows for the gift of new life this is a fundamental part of the meaning of marriage, even if a couple are unable to have children. My parents had their 50th wedding anniversary a few years ago. It was funny looking at the black and white photographs of the wedding from 1963, the year of Beatlemania and the Beach Boys. Dad with his thick Michael Caine glasses mum with her hair up in a 60s bun. I'm not idealizing them, but I know one thing. Through all the normal ups and downs of marriage and family life, they tried to be faithful to each other and to God. And that's a lot to be grateful for. You don't need to be a Christian, of course, to get married. But when two Christians do get married, this beautiful natural union is transformed into the sacrament of matrimony. The Christian husband and wife are called to love each other with the love of Jesus Christ and to make their home a place of faith. He gives them extra graces to grow in holiness and generosity. This is why marriage is a Christian vocation because it comes a way of following Jesus Christ as spouses and as parents. Now, couples can struggle in many ways. There can be real suffering. Some relationships break down and seem beyond repair. And people deserve the love and care of the church, whatever their situation and whatever choices they've made. But this is the heart of marriage, as Christians understand it. The love and friendship shared between husband and wife, a love that is free, faithful, fruitful and for life. I think um, openness and laughter, um, sharing, uh, 
being able to feel comfortable around each other, um, unity. Complete commitment, you know, um, it's not a temporary thing, it's a lifelong commitment and that's got to be the basis that everything's got to go from. Kindness, respect and taking time out to talk things through when we're going through difficult patches or difficult decisions. I think being quick in forgiving the other person. There's the, the sentence, it's the phrase that says, um, the family that prays together stays together. And I would say that is definitely the key um, for a happy marriage and for a happy um, family. Meaning that um, I mean, there are many things that are important, but by placing God at the centre, um, that is definitely the recipe for a successful um, and a happy family. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs>
you see the apostles calling others to share their ministry, laying hands on them so the church will have a new generation of shepherds. Ordination also includes deacons who assist in the liturgy and preach and teach and reach out to serve the community. And it includes bishops who represent the apostles and receive the fullness of the sacrament of ordination. There is an unbroken tradition in the Catholic and Orthodox churches of calling men to the priesthood and not women. This is not because men are superior or anything, but because Jesus specifically chose men to be his apostles and to represent him in this way, and because the tradition is so clear and consistent. The priesthood is such a gift. When a priest teaches with the authority of the church, it is Christ who teaches. When he forgives our sins in the sacrament of confession, it is Christ who forgives. When he celebrates Mass, it is Christ who offers the Eucharistic sacrifice. When he cares for his people, it is Christ reaching out to them. Things can go wrong. There can be an unhealthy culture of clericalism if priests become isolated from their people. A priest can become trapped in his own weaknesses and sins. He can even betray the priesthood and the trust of those who look to him. When people have been hurt and crimes have been committed, priests need to be brought to justice and the church needs to take responsibility for her failures. Whenever someone fails, it makes us see even more clearly the need for good and loving priests. A priest should be a humble servant a loving shepherd, a man of prayer, a man of utter integrity. The need for holy priests has never been greater. I wouldn't be where I am now without the love and support of different priests, many of them who have died now. Father Maurice O'Leary helped me to understand the Christian message when I was just a teenager. Father Chris Jenkins, my university chaplain, was on fire with love for Jesus and for the church. Father Digby Samuels, a dear friend, had such kindness and tenderness for others that I sometimes imagined I was seeing the kindness of Christ himself. We owe so much to our priests and to all the consecrated men and women we have known. I can think of a friend of mine, Sister Hilda, um, who's doing her PhD in law um, so, so that she can go back to her country and um, teach law there. Yes, um, I, I knew a priest in Canada. He was the uh, chaplain of my university and he was a very interesting fellow. He, first of all, he drove a motorcycle, uh, the classic wild hog type of motorcycle. He had a Star Wars podcast. He edited uh, movie videos on his phone and he just loved movies in general and used them in his um, sermons all the time. So I'm thinking of a priest that helped me a lot in my, in my uni university years. He was, he was always, always available. And he, he would make it known to me, you need something, you know, call me like I'm there, I'm there for you. And he, and he always, he was always there. He was always available. Um, so there was this lovely nun that my mum used to take me to go and see um, when I was little. And she was, she was really, really nice. She would um, always kind of, I think she would make us cups of tea and just, just, just be very loving. I just really remember her being really loving and so friendly and lovely. I know a priest who's in his 90s. Uh, he's a, he had a long career as a philosophy professor. But one thing that inspires me about him is that his capacity to always see the humanity in 
everybody that he meets or who everybody he talks about. Definitely a priest I met a few years ago. Uh, he has a science background in maths and I think that really helped me because he talks about it very openly before he was called to priesthood. Um, and it really helped me with my situation of a science background and the church as well. I know a nun who lives uh, in a community in France and she's just absolutely effervescent with joy. And we went to visit her and we just found that whole experience just completely exhilarating.
we will now say the rosary and today we will be reciting the sorrowful mysteries of the rosary in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth and in jesus christ his only son our lord who was conceived by the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And we now say, one our Father, three Hail Marys, and to glory be, for an increase in the gifts of faith, hope, and charity. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, <coughs> as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <coughs> the first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden. In his anguish, he prayed with all the greater intensity, and his sweat became like drops of blood, falling to the ground. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee.
blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have most need of thy mercy. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar. Pilate released Barabbas to them. Jesus, however, he first had scourged, then he handed him over to be crucified. <coughs> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have most need of thy mercy. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. Weaving a crown out of thorns, they fixed it on his head. Then they began to mock him, saying, All hail, King of the Jews. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. <coughs> blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 
Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have most need of thy mercy. The fourth sorrowful mystery, Jesus carries his cross. In the end, Pilate handed Jesus over to be crucified. Jesus was led away, and carrying his cross by himself, he went out to what is called the place of the skull. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have most need of thy mercy. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of our Lord. 
There they crucified him. Jesus said, It is finished. He bowed his head and delivered up his spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, <coughs> and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve, to thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this vale of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, most holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, 
grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may both imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Do we now say, one our Father, one Hail Mary, and one glory be for the intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of Walsingham, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And the word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Walsingham, Saint Joseph. Welcome to the National Shrine and Basilica of Our Lady at Walsingham, England's Nazareth, and we gather today on this memorial of Saint Stephen, uh, sorry, Saint Timothy and Saint Titus. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who adorned Saints Timothy and Titus with apostolic virtues, grant through the intercession of them both that living justly and devoutly in this present age, we may merit to reach our heavenly homeland through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. From Paul, appointed by God to be an apostle of Christ Jesus in his design to promise life in Christ Jesus, to Timothy, dear child of mine, wishing you grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and from Christ Jesus our Lord. Night and day I thank God, keeping my conscience clear and remembering my duty to him as my ancestors did. And always I remember you in my prayers. I remember your tears and long to see you again to complete my happiness. Then I am reminded of the sincere faith which you have. It came first to live in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice. And I have no doubt that it is the same faith in you as well. That is why I am reminding you now to fan into a flame the gift that God gave you when I laid my hands on you. 
God's gift was not a spirit of timidity, but the spirit of power and love and self-control. So you are never to be ashamed of witnessing to the Lord or ashamed of me for being his prisoner. But with me, bear the hardships for the sake of the good news, relying on the power of God who has saved us and called us to be holy. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> Proclaim the wonders of the Lord among all the peoples. O oh, sing a song to the Lord, sing to the Lord all the earth. O oh, sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim, Proclaim the, the wonders of the Lord, of the Lord among, among all, all the, peoples. the peoples. Proclaim his help day by day. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. Proclaim, Proclaim the, wonders the wonders of the Lord, of the Lord among all, all the peoples. peoples. Give the Lord, you families of peoples, Give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Proclaim, Proclaim the, the wonders, wonders of the Lord, of the Lord among, among all, all the, peoples. the peoples. Proclaim to the nations God is king, the world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Proclaim, Proclaim the, the wonders, wonders of the Lord, of the Lord among all, all the peoples. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord has sent me to bring the good news to the poor, to proclaim liberty to captives. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The Lord appointed 72 others and sent them out ahead of him in pairs to all the towns and places he himself was to visit. He said to them, the harvest is rich, but the laborers are few. So ask the Lord of the harvest to send laborers to his harvest. Start off now, but remember, I am sending you out like lambs among wolves. Carry no purse, no haversack, no sandals. Salute no one on the road. Whatever house you go into, let your first words be, Peace to this house. And if a man of peace lives there, your peace will go and rest on him. If not, it will come back to you. Stay in the same house taking what food and drink they have to offer, for the labourer deserves his wages. Do not move from house to house. Whatever you go, whenever you go into a town where they make you welcome, eat what is set before you, cure those in it who are sick and say, the kingdom of God is very near to you. The Gospel of the Lord. It's always nice to receive letters from friends or family to hear of news and so on. Uh, I can remember as a child my mum reading out letters from various relatives which were addressed to us uh, and I couldn't decipher the handwriting. Um, I can now barely read my own handwriting but anyway, uh, St Paul was a man of great learning and letters. We know he wrote many letters to different people and communities. Sadly, we don't have any replies from those peoples or communities. And the saints we celebrate today, St. Timothy and Titus, worked together with St. Paul and accompanied him on many of his journeys. St. Paul was a spiritual father figure to them, and they were charged by him to look after the churches. St. Timothy became Bishop of Ephesus, and St. Titus seemed to have served as the first Bishop of Crete. This was an important time for the church as the apostles were growing older and weaker and it was necessary to ensure that the message they received was handed on in its fullness. So St. Timothy and St. Titus were tasked 
with these two things. Firstly, to guard the deposit of faith, that is the truths of revelation together with the sacraments and Christian morality. And also the second thing that they were to ordain local ministers, presbyters, priests, uh, who would preside over the common life of those local communities. And that's uh, taken from a theologian. And these letters were very important to the people and communities St. Paul wrote to. This is a letter which St. Paul sent to Timothy and is full of encouragement and faith. In fact, he, he wrote uh, three letters to Timothy. I remember you in my prayers, he says, I remember your tears and long to see you again to complete my happiness. So very much a heartfelt uh, statement that is. And there's also a lovely bit about faith being handed down in the family. Uh, as he says, it came first to live in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice. And I've no doubt that it is the same faith in you as well. So it seems that Timothy's mother taught him the scriptures. So the importance of handing down faith uh, to, to our children. And he goes on to say, that is why I'm reminding you now to fan into a flame uh, the gift that God gave you when I laid my hands on you. Fan into a flame, flame means using that gift. Timothy is ordained to carry out the mission. And tradi tradition has it that Timothy was perhaps also martyred as an old man. God's gift was not a spirit of timidity, but the spirit of power and love and self-control. What a great statement that is. Again, one of Paul's absolute uh, brilliant insights. A great prayer to memorize. I'd encourage you to, to use it and what well, learn it, use it, uh, and be co courageous with it as well. So today, as we give thanks for these two, these two men, these two, uh, as it were, apprentices of St. Paul, may we also be able, through their prayers, to be witnesses uh, to the gospel in our own lives, that we too can be faithful in handing down what has been given to us uh, by Jesus Christ in his church. And let's pray to St. Timothy and Titus for inspiration, and maybe just to think today, who can you and I witness to today? Who could we inspire and encourage today uh, in their faith, uh, with our faith, or perhaps even write to, or phone up? Let's thank God also for the people who handed on the faith to us as well. St. Timothy and St. Titus pray for us.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, which we bring in celebration of Saints Timothy and Titus, and in your kindness render us fully acceptable by giving us sincerity of heart. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of Saints Timothy and Titus, you bid your church rejoice, so true you strengthen her by the example of their holy lives, teach her by their words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to their prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and giving you thanks he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many 
for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith, save us, Saviour of the world. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saints Timothy and Titus, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Peter our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you've gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, though we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy <coughs> will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, 
you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. now to Holy Communion. If you're not Catholic or cannot receive communion for any other reason, you're welcome to come forward for a blessing. If you cross your arms over your chest like so, I'll give you a blessing. Go out into the whole world and proclaim the gospel. I am with you always, says the Lord.
Let us pray. May the sacraments we have received, O Lord our God, nourish us in that faith taught by the preaching of the apostles and kept safe by the labours of Saints Timothy and Titus through Christ our Lord. Thank you for coming to Mass here today. Uh, just a reminder that our afternoon programme begins at 2 o'clock here in this chapel with adoration of the Blessed Sacrament. And then at 3 o'clock we have uh, the recitation of the Divine Mercy Chaplet, followed by Rosary. And uh, then that concludes with the benediction, to which you're very welcome. Uh, also wishing you a blessed pilgrimage here today in Walsingham. And uh, do visit the Slipper Chapel where the statue of Our Lady of Walsingham uh, is. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Redemptoris Mater, quer per via celi porta manes, et stella maris, succure cadenti, sugere qui curat populo, tu que genuisti, natura mirante, tuum sanctum genitorem. Virgo prius, ac posterius, Gabrielis sabore, sumens iludave, peccatorum miserere. Our Lady of Walsingham, Saint Joseph, Saints Timothy and Titus,
In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Before adoration today, we say the Jubilee Prayer. Father in heaven, may the faith you have given us in your Son, Jesus Christ, our brother, and the flame of charity enkindled in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, reawaken in us the blessed hope for the coming of your kingdom. May your grace transform us into tireless cultivators of the seeds of the gospel. May those seeds transform from within both humanity and the whole cosmos in the sure expectation of a new heaven and a new earth, when, with the powers of evil vanquished, your glory will shine eternally. May the grace of the Jubilee reawaken in us, pilgrims of hope, a yearning for the treasures of heaven. May, may that same grace spread the joy and peace of our Redeemer throughout the earth. To you, our God, eternally blessed, be glory and praise forever. Amen.
Divine Mercy Chaplet. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life and fathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. Amen. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. 
have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy upon us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God. Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Amen. Jesus, I, I trust, trust in, in you. you. Jesus, I, I trust, trust in you. In you. Jesus, I, I trust, trust in, you. in you. Saint Faustina, pray for us. Saint John Paul II, pray for us. Now say the sorrowful mysteries of the Holy Rosary. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge <coughs> the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen pray for the Pope, the Church, and for peace in our world. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our, our sins, sins. Save, save us from us the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden. And his sweat became as drops of blood running down upon the ground. And rising from prayer, he came to the disciples and found them sleeping. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our, our sins. sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar. Pilate then took Jesus and had him scourged. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our, our sins. sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. And they stripped him and put on him a scarlet cloak, and plating a crown of thorns, they put it on his head, and a reed into his right hand. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, sins. save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. And bearing the cross on himself, he went forth to the place called the skull, in Hebrew, Golgotha. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion. Jesus cried out with a loud voice and said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. Having said this, he expired. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our sins, sins. Save, save us from, from the fires of hell. Of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping, and swale of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries of the most, ho the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may both imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Genitori, genitorque, 
Omne delectamentum in se habentem. Oremus. Deus qui nobis sub sacramento, mirabili passinis tui memoriam redo Christi, trebimu coesim, ita nos copris it sanguinis tui sacra misteria venerari, ut remsiones tui fructum, in nobis judita sensiamus, Qui vives et regnas in secula seculorum. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her spouse most chaste. Blessed be St. Joseph, her spouse most chaste. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints.
crop and most holy. O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, and all thanksgiving be every moment thy. The prayer for England. O blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and our most gentle Queen and Mother, look down in mercy upon England thy dowry, and upon us all who greatly hope and trust in thee. By thee it was that Jesus, our Saviour and our hope, was given unto the world, and he has given thee to us, that we might hope still more. Plead for us, thy children, whom thou didst receive and accept at the foot of the cross, O sorrowful Mother. Intercede for our separated brethren, that with us in the one true fold they may be united to the Chief Shepherd, the Vicar of thy Son. Pray for us all, dear Mother, that by faith fruitful in good works, we may all deserve to see and praise God, together with thee in our heavenly home. Amen. Amen. Our Lady of Walsingham. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Peccatorum 